I will eat your ass. <laughs> Speaking of eating someone's ass, we got Ryan. How you doing? Uh, doing good. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm putting up a video right now. Um, but yeah, so like some of the things that I didn't like about a so that I was saying in the chat were I, I felt like there were a couple things she did that was very not Ahsoka. Um, like what Rhino was talking about at the beginning, those people, like she's probably trying to get to that place and they've probably been fucking with her and shooting at her and hunting her, her killing them. That I don't really have a big problem with that. I had a problem with her trying to kill Mando from behind when he literally presented no threat to her whatsoever. Dead. Like, yep. and it's, it's, you can't be like, oh, well, it's a Mandalorian. They're a big threat against Jedi. We just saw Clone Wars season seven, a fucking 18 year old Ahsoka Tano literally rampage through fucking troops on Mandalore. So shut yeah. the fuck up with that nonsense. And that's that's the problem with Disney Star Wars and with Dave Filoni is they do these things and then completely forget about them or ignore them or change them. Uh, we even have confirmation from someone who was a, a, an art, uh, like a, a not an art director, but he was somehow involved in the concept art and things like that. Um, when people said, hey, her head tails are very short in this. They're like, yeah, we actually thought about that. And we decided to change it for, um, you know, because it would have been, it was easier to do the fight scenes and things like that. Ugh. He said that. So they're taking these things that are established and changing them on a whim. Um, so this is some of the problems I have with Filoni. But yeah, uh, Ahsoka, I say it's laughable at this point. They just... They just... Sorry. If they did that to the shills, man, if they did that to the shills, if they just changed all their writing and books just to make a movie to make money, they they, they don't care about anything, you know. About, they, they don't care about anything. Ryan, what about her deciding to train Baby Yoda? That, that, was, that was my other thing, too. Like, I, I get her not training him, like, be like, I, I can't train him, like, because I, like, she might be scared of uh, that she might fail and it might turn out like any kind. I, I can get that. But to wash her hands of it and be like, well, um, I guess, you know, what you could do is you could just go to this random planet that's uh, fucking shrouded in mystery that we've only heard of one time in Disney canon before. Um, and, you know, go to the top of a mountain, put him on there. Maybe somebody will come help. When <laughs> this, this, this baby, even though you say he's repressing his force skills, he's, he's been using his force skills. I think this entire thing is a Band-Aid. I think the entire explanation of, oh, yeah, he was at the temple. He was trained by several masters. I don't think that was ever the plan. I think that's a Band-Aid in response to so many people being like, what the fuck? This thing just has powers. Yeah. Because, uh, okay, well, good thing they saved baby Grogu, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> rather than any of those other younglings that got slaughtered. Thank God somebody had baby <laughs> Grogu. Uh, they but, explained uh, where he was when yeah, that was happening, uh, when Vader was killing all the kids. So they said that he, he escaped. He escaped from the temple during the purge. How? And then he, he, he was kept. He was kept at the temple and trained by many masters. Of course, I mean, no it's, the Moses, it's just the Moses story all over again. You know, they well, put what Moses I don't in the get, river. And he, I agree with Ryan though. It's a band aid because there was backlash to how is Baby Yoda able to do this without any training. Of course. And then they had to explain it. And the best way that they could explain it was this way. But now it's also another Force-sensitive, potentially a Jedi at 50 years old that um, uh, survived Order 66 when Anakin was supposed to go and kill. I mean, and, and even the fact that Ahsoka says, I've only ever known one other being like this. Yaddle. Yaddle as well. Oh, and Yoda. That, that's right. That well, that one. Mm -hmm. So for, for that it. one, there are. <laughs> so after Episode One in Legends lore, uh, before the Clone Wars happened, Yaddle was killed. Um, that's why well, she not wasn't in Disney though. Not in Disney though. In Disney, it's in Disney, it's very unclear. Uh, what happened? We don't know what happened, other than she just stepped away and was killed sometime during like the purge. But wouldn't Ahsoka still have been at the temple, and and Yaddle would have still been on the council? No, nah, because she I, came in at the, the Clone Wars. Well, Ahsoka, I I don't know when Ahsoka was at the temple. You know what I mean? 
uh it, it definitely wasn't she like she was at the temple before the clone war started before so, she a padawan with with anakin correct so i think it's what is episode 131 bby lethal is that about yeah. right and then uh the end is 19 bby yeah. so you have a she would have been around six or seven i guess by i mean I, you would think that she would have known that yada was on the high council You'd think well, that she would have known that. Yeah. Going back to Baby Yoda, I'm confused. Is this a fucking? So it's been trained by masters that can use the Force, or is it a fucking baby that throws up on itself whenever it's it eats both. too much? It's both. It hides its it hides its Force powers for safety, but it uses it to get cookies. <laughs> so it acts like a fucking retard and has foods involved. Yes yeah okay okay that's, kind of like funny. me to be fair <laughs> funny again like my review it was only an eight minute review and it was really quick and it was shattered that my stream was taken down but my review like i was like yeah it was a good episode blah 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 but i haven't i hadn't had time to sort of think about it and process it and the more i go into it it's like yeah soka really wasn't acting like a soka when you actually think about it and you know so many other little aspects to it I don't know. It was just. It is. It's Disney. You got to keep it separate now. You can't. You can't think that this is Star Wars. Not what it was actually. Meant. I've been saying that since the beginning of the fucking year. Yeah, yeah true. Okay. It's taken me a long time to get there. All right. Going going back to what Drunk said about like what we're talking about on the Twitch stream. This was like the actual clip that brought up that whole conversation. This is from Jensrai. Good channel. Definitely recommend him. In essence the numerous and arbitrary retcons of TCW took what was previously one of the most tightly plotted and internally consistent timeframes within the expanded universe, where every event and storyline was given an exact date down to the week, and reduced it to a muddled sliding scale continuity defined by simplistic and contrived plot lines centered around a childish moral. Where the original Clone Wars micro-series kept its portrayal of Anakin Skywalker consistent with the films while also going a long way towards salvaging that version of the character, TCW reduced Anakin to a bland heroic caricature, with only the most token lip service paid to his emerging dark side tendencies, and he was otherwise almost completely sidelined in favor of Ahsoka Tano. Mm, very interesting. As for General Grievous, his portrayal remains consistent with the films in the worst possible way, continuing his downward spiral <laughs> into ineffectual slapstick villainy. Even the episodes where he is meant to be taken seriously reduce him to fleeing for his life or play his dismemberments for laughs. Ain't that the fucking truth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> A guy yeah. filled with pain that just wanted respect. <laughs> basically yep jen sarai that's our boy jen sarai he's good man i like all those people evan nova and all that type of stuff i think they do really good shit but that's what me and ryan were talking about like, like ryan said on the twitch stream it was like back before tcw you could take the actual clone wars conflict and you could make a excel spreadsheet of who was where and what happened at any given time and then TCW comes along and it appeals to people like Lord Vader and Jeremy. Raylos are weird. It's simple mindset. It's just so condensed. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just, it's just condensed. It's just dumbed down. It's just dumbed down and completely destroyed all the continuity, which is like, you know, I piss off a lot of people when I go, hey, you're going to steer and you're going to trash Ryan Johnson, but this motherfucker with the cowboy hat was doing it for years. What's up with that? See, look at the thing is, um, the thing is, if you didn't, if you didn't experience all of these things, you don't understand why, why there's backlash.